where our brides are brought to their wedding by someone close to them. And today, for Sam, this very happy duty falls to Alan, who is her grandfather. And for Jane, this very happy duty falls to Gail, who is her mum. So I'm going to start with you, Alan. Yes. So Alan, can I ask you, do you give Sam in marriage to Jane? I do. And Gail, can I ask you, do you give Jane in marriage to Sam? I do. Well done. Thank you very much, both of you. And if you'd now like to take your seats, thank you. So I am going to ask you now to turn and face each other and hold hands because these are going to be, as the heart of our ceremony today, the words which will make you a married couple. And at this point I need to identify that Rachel and Sharon are in the room. Yep. 
So Rachel and Sharon, you're both going to be signing our marriage schedule to say that you've heard our couple say their words to each other today. So back with you, Jane. <laughs> taking it all in yeah you you can take it all in it's absolutely fine but these are the words you have to say properly otherwise i should make you say them again <laughs> so um jane if you could please repeat these words after me but say them to some i call upon i call upon these persons here present these persons here present <coughs> To witness that I, Jane Phillips. To witness that I, Jane Phillips. Do take thee, Samantha Yates. Do take thee, Samantha Yates. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to give you. I promise to give you my love and friendship. My love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. To care for you with love and patience. To care for you with love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you and to be faithful always and to be faithful always these promises i make to you these promises i make to you for the rest of my life for the rest of my life and now sam no pressure because yeah. she was word perfect they wanted to go first. <laughs> so if you could repeat these words after me and say them to jane I call upon I call upon these persons here present these persons here present to witness that I Samantha Yates to witness that I Samantha Yates do take thee Jane Phillips to take thee Jane Phillips to be my lawful wedded wife to be my lawful wedded wife I promise to give you I promise to give you my love and friendship my love and friendship to support and comfort you to support and comfort you to care for you with love and patience to care for you with love and patience to respect and cherish you to respect and cherish you and to be faithful always and to be faithful always these promises I make to you these promises I make to you for the rest of my life for the rest of my life <laughs> In the final part of our ceremony this afternoon, Jane and Sam will seal the contract that they have just made with the giving and receiving of their wedding rings. And I'm hoping that these are still in the safe hands of your They are. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd just like to come up here, please, and just stand by the corner of the table just for a second. I'm going to say something. If you'd like to just take the lid off the box. Lovely. And I'm going to say some words about them. So the wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolises unending and everlasting love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises that you make to each other today. So wear your rings with pride and look at them often as you remember this, your very special day. So, do we have a ring for Jane to give to Sam, please? So, Sam's ring. Yep. You know which is which? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> and just turn and face her and just place it on the tip of the third finger of her left hand. That's right. Support her hand with your other hand. And you're saying these words to her. Sam, I give you this ring. Sam, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. So, do we have a ring for Sam to give Jane? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And just place it on the tip of the third finger of her left hand. That's it. Support her hand, and you're saying these words Jane, I give you this ring. Jane, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. Good fit? Perfect. <laughs> so stay facing each other and holding hands. So, Jade and Sam, you have both made the declarations prescribed by me and made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, families and friends and our four-legged friends as well. <laughs> so this day is the start of a new phase in your lives together. And we all hope that the feelings of love that you very evidently have for each other will deepen and grow even stronger throughout your lives together. So it therefore gives me 
the very greatest pleasure to declare that you are now a married couple together. And it is traditional to seal the contract with a kiss. Congratulations. <laughs> If you're able just to stand for one last time, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have come to the end of the formal part of our ceremony today, but we know that you're going on for some fantastic celebrations. I got proud out there. She just makes that noise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> That completely put me off my side. <laughs> so we know that you're going on to some fantastic celebrations today and we hope that you will have a wonderful time together. So it just leaves me one last great pleasure and that is to introduce you to Sam and Jane, our very happy married couple as they lead you out for further celebrations. I think we should give them a huge cheer and round of applause. Success, we've had good times, but remember this.
And we're still so young And we hope for more But remember this I'm not invincible I'm not invincible I'm not invincible We're only people We're only people Once you guys got settled um, into your camping pitch um, in a town called Beer, how ironic, I got to properly meet Sam and I realised just how much they adored each other. What a wonderful and kind and caring person Sam is, just like Jane. They are the perfect match. Uh, Sam and Jane resonate nothing but love and the fact that I have somehow made it onto the top table shows just that. Um, I love them both and I would wish them all the luck in the world, but they don't need it because I know they're good. So, to Sam and Jane. <laughs> Thank you to my beautiful wife, Sam. All of this would not have been possible without your planning, ideas and obviously your proposal. You look absolutely stunning and I'm so proud to call you my wife. Let's give them a countdown from five, four, three, two, one, cut away.
Take a look, give me the hook or the ovation. It's my world that I want to have a little pride in. My world, and it's not a place I have to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can say I am. 